Our story begins with a man who goes by the name of James. James was finally able to get some time off work and decides to go hunting for the weekend. So he went to his family's lodge in the woods. James was now a lonely child as the rest of his family, parents, siblings, and grandparents had all passed away. All of the family's small fortune was passed down to James. As James set up his equipment around the lodge, he saw pictures hung on the walls of his family members who were no longer with him. They used to cherish this lodge as it had been passed down from generation to generation. James explored the local area with his hunting equipment in hand and managed to shoot a rabbit and kill it. He went back to the lodge and prepared his meal. James fell asleep after eating his meal as the sun was setting down. James was closing his eyelids underneath the mantelpiece of a deer in front of the fire. James heard the rattle of twigs bashing in the breeze as he drifted off into his slumber. When James woke, he was still sat in the armchair with a strange creature sat upon his lap. This creature was an extremely pale skeletal creature who had the eyes of eggs but were sharply textured as marbles carved into its skull. The creature's mouth was like that of a fish, with very small spikes built along its jawline with an abyss of darkness behind them. The creature didn't say anything, but it just sat in silence, staring with its jaw open, like it was about to say something, but didn't know what to say. James suddenly heard a voice in his head, talking to him, trying to convince him that it knew his family members, and if he wanted proof, then he could just search under the floorboards by the fireplace. James was utterly confused as he had never heard this voice before, and started to think who this voice could possibly belong to, who he had previously seen in his life. When suddenly the voice answered back, saying that it was the creature staring at him, talking to him through his thoughts. The creature had decided to visit James, as James had recently decided that he didn't want any offspring in the future. This creature did not like this decision, and said that if James decided that he still didn't want any offspring, by the time he exited the mountain range, he would be dead. James's body shook violently after hearing this, and immediately passed out, with the creature fading into his unconscious thoughts. After waking the next morning, James looked under the floorboards in the fireplace where the creature had told him to look. He saw hundreds of letters from family members who he never even knew, but they were all there, in a pile. All of these letters spoke of a hideous creature who came to them in their sleep begging them to have children. But in a letter that wasn't so badly decayed, James found it was by his brother, who he had previously read another letter by. This letter was different though, saying that the creature had visited him again after he had children with his wife, but they had recently died in a tragic car crash. This creature spoke to him, saying that his children must survive for the creature to harvest, or his brother would die. By the end of this letter, his brother said that he had decided to die, as having more children would just add more tragedy to his life from his previous children and marriage. There wasn't another letter by his brother assuring James that this creature meant what it said. His brother called this creature the rake as it got rid of any vessels that were no longer needed after they had been grown to their maximum potential. This creature disposed of those who wasted life's luxuries. James, terrified of this, decided to go home immediately Packing up all of his equipment, James noticed that his car was broken down and there was no fast way to fix it. So James hiked down the trail and tried to find his way back to civilization. Exhausted, James set up camp when the sun was about to go down. He was close to the bridge as he could hear water trickling nearby, which meant it was only a couple more hours till he reached human contact again. He set up a night vision camera outside of his tent, so if the raid came, he would be able to capture it on camera and prove of its existence to the rest of the world. James slept with his gun by his side. James, while sleeping, thought of possibly lying to the rake, so he would try and trick it into thinking that he was going to have a loving family with a wife, a son, and a daughter. But in actuality, he would carry on, on his own, finally getting enough money to buy a permanent house of his own. James dreamt of this plan, but then started to see glimpses of the rake throughout his life, haunting him every day. There was no way for James to escape this dilemma with his life. Wherever he went, the rake would follow. In his mind or in person, he knew where James was at all times. James woke up to hear the scatter of leaves outside of his tent. He checks his camera. There. 
three could be in just watching him peering into his thoughts. James knew what he had to do. Some say James can be found today in Florida, living a rather costly and extravagant lifestyle with a brand new wife, three missing ex-wives and eight children, two of which are still alive. They always say you can see James on the verge of tears whenever he goes on his yearly camping trip. I hope you have enjoyed my reinterpretation of the story of the rake. I hope to see you in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you a good evening and good night.